Good morning. This is the start of our 2023 holiday and it finds me here at uh, Tallinn coach station where I shall be getting a coach to uh, Riga for four and a half hours uh, sitting there and there I shall be meeting Steph and Jacob who hopefully will be flying in from Bristol. The coach station is uh, fairly quiet at the moment as you would expect but uh, it will get busier during the day and uh, I'm quite familiar with it having used this uh, this route both for Riga and Tartu in the past. The coach is just uh, arriving, pulling in now. I think it's uh, all luxury seating. So I'll um, queue up with everybody else and position myself in uh, in my seat number seven, I think it is, for the, uh, for the journey all the way to Riga. I've arrived in Riga, um, looking over there at the railway bridge with the bus station just beyond there. Um, I've walked over that bridge um, and now I'm trying to get to the other side because I think the, uh, the apartment where we're staying is uh, this side. But um, as always, I found the most difficult route to get there and I'm dragging my very heavy suitcase over some soft uh, sandy soil. I'm sure there must be uh, an easy way to do this and I'll have it cracked by the time we, uh, we leave. But I have a suspicion that um, those buildings in the distance, which aren't actually that far away, is where we're staying. Well, I've arrived at the apartment and very nice it is too. This is the, uh, the view out of the window of the river. So when they say riverside, they're not joking either. Um, there are two bedrooms, both of which are connected to the balcony. A very nice uh, living area, which I've messed up already with some stuff. Um, two, two bathrooms, very posh indeed, very nice with uh, all these, uh, nice showers and stuff there. And um, as I say, two, two bedrooms. Um, both of which connect onto the balcony, the uh, master bedroom there, and probably Jacob's bedroom in uh, in here. So very nice indeed. And I'm just going to have a bit of a uh, um, bit of a rest and look at uh, how I uh, can get to the airport to pick Steph and Jacob up later on tonight. Well, I successfully uh, met Steph and Jacob at the, at the airport. We've got a bolt to the accommodation and um, Jacob is making the most of the facilities. The best bit of the holiday so far. Here we are, it's a lovely evening and we're now going to go and walk off uh, to find a, uh, a pizza for our first, uh, our first meal of the holiday. Thoughts of the uh, apartment? Very nice. Very nice. Thoughts of the apartment, Jacob? Best bit so far the, of the apartment? The balcony, I expect. The horse, okay, very good. Sunday morning and we're up and hunting breakfast, walking across the bridge from the apartment to the old town. And then Steph and Jacob walking well ahead, trying to keep out of the video as always. And a rather, um, Slightly dull and gloomy and colder Latvia than yesterday, which is a shame because actually I could have done with it being a bit cooler during yesterday's rather hot walk. We now find ourselves in the house of the Blackheads, looking round the museum. And the first is a um, is a lovely a lovely room. Um, lots of lots of gilt and uh, pictures, and uh, as always, a family 
we will do everything possible not to be in the in the pictures but uh, but lovely and uh, the tour continues Day two of our holiday, and uh, we've left the apartment, and we're now in the central market at um, Riga, close to the coach station, enjoying a pancake breakfast before a quick look around the market, and our bus on to uh, Barnu uh, for the second stage of the holiday. And um, Steph and Jacob are excitedly engaged in learning about the uh, the culture and traditions of um, Latvia by um, exploring um, fish tanks on, uh, on holiday. So there's some, uh, some in-depth research going on. Jacob, oh, Jacob, are you enjoying the holiday so far? Yeah. What's the best bit of the holiday? The doggy in the rucksack. The doggy in the rucksack. Oh, um, and mummy also agrees the doggy in the rucksack was the best part of the holiday. The one thing that I didn't, I didn't film. 
No. So, um, or are you trying to put your shower cap and your camera back? That's, that's my mind. Yes, so I didn't film yesterday because it poured with rain that's and the danger mind. being that um, everything would have been um, soaked. Uh, in fact, my feet are still slightly wet. Monday evening, we've arrived in Parnu, and although the weather forecast is not great for the rest of the week, it's a lovely evening, and we've walked into town and sitting in a uh, in a bar where we're enjoying a uh, a drink. The uh, the highlight of the afternoon for Jacob was no doubt going into a uh, a pet shop and looking at fish. Is that right, Jacob? Yeah, but you were in the whole experience, so yeah. So there we have, I ruined the whole experience by taking Jacob to a pet shop. Not quite sure why that is, but, uh, but they would not buy anything. I wouldn't let Jacob buy any fish in the fish shop. So there we go. Um, they're now playing on, on their phone and we're going to uh, finish our drink shortly and head up to a uh, supermarket to buy some supplies before heading back uh, to the, uh, the little house. Tuesday afternoon brings us to the uh, Estonian summer capital in uh, Panu in the rain and uh, we've walked from the uh, the house um, all the way to the beach it's been raining uh, most of the morning and uh, in between the rain we've managed to make our way here we're now sitting in a shelter with um, coffee and pancakes are we having a, a lovely holiday everybody Jacob, a nice holiday. So it's uh, it is raining a little bit. We're in a bit of shelter, and we're going to be playing crazy golf uh, shortly after we've eaten our pancakes, and hopefully after this rain shower has stopped. So uh, pancakes, here we come. Wednesday afternoon finds us at a disc golf course. We were planning on going swimming, but uh, for once it's not raining, and so we decided to disc golf. We've walked one course and realized we needed some discs. So we've uh, walked a very short walk to a shop and bought a couple of uh, discs. Uh, we've had some lunch, and now we're at this um, disc golf park. Uh, which everyone is delighted because it's just a, a public amenity whereas all the others uh, certainly in the UK appear to be um, uh, quite expensive um, we're now looking to find out where we uh, where we start from um, looking for the num number one which is um, just to the right of uh, where we are and uh, we shall begin and uh, see how good everyone is are you looking forward to the uh, the golfing so yes, we've realised that um, there are some uh, some midges here doing some uh, some biting, um, but hopefully that won't affect the enjoyment um, too much. Right, so let's uh, let's start disc golfing. I'm not going to film the full 18 holes because uh, we'll all die of uh, die of boredom. Um, but here we are with the first uh, the first hole, um, the first one starting off. Um, 
trying to figure out where the uh, where direction is of the uh, of the first basket. Um, inspecting the map before they start. Just follow the road, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is actually going to be quite a long day. It's going to be a very long afternoon. And here we go on the second the second shot. <laughs> Good shot there. Next one. Okay, I think um, fine. Okay, yep. I'm being bitten to bits here. Uh -uh. Who's keeping score here? Ready? Standing on a tree. So I see. I thought you said it was close to the water. That's not going to get on fail army. Go and fall in or something. Best bit of the holiday video so far.
Well, the round is complete. Did you have a good time? Who won? Pretty much a draw, was it? It was you, was it? Welcome to Friday. Yesterday, Thursday, um, we went swimming and we got very, very wet. In fact, we got extremely wet. So uh, that was the adventures of uh, yesterday. And uh, as we look around our little apartment here, we see Steph and Jacob are enjoying the, uh, the television. And uh, there's a little kitchenette in our uh, in our accommodation with a table full of sweets, wine and biscuits. Jacob, determined you want to go disc golfing today? Fine. Well, that's what you just said you wanted to do, so we'll do that. So we'll see you on the disc golf course. Another day, another disc golf park. Uh, this one's much closer to uh, the accommodation and the centre of town, um, Short Walk. Again, it's um, a public community, which is free, which is very nice. So, uh, you have their, uh, their discs, and this one's also only, uh, only nine holes, as the previous one was uh, 18. Um, the question will be, how many mosquitoes will there be here? We were absolutely bitten to pieces um, last time in the forest it was absolutely horrible um, and I'm still covered with bumps but uh, hopefully it won't be so bad here but we do have some spray stuff so hopefully that might uh, deter them a little bit Mm-hmm. My ball. Be aware, it's two inches of water and six feet of mud. Drop five. Hole number nine, and there's a lot of water involved. Go on them. Oh. Okay. It's safe. Safe. Where's the first? Oh, around the corner. That's safe. 
Well, they fly 100 yards away. Moving on from the Disc Golf Championships, we're now in the Crazy Golf Championships, in which Jacob is giving a um, stellar performance of how to um, perform Crazy Golf. Go. Yep, Max. Oh, come on, you've got to be able to get it now. Yes, how many was that? Six. Number four. So the mini golf is, is complete. Uh, who won, Jacob? Uh, me by 15. I think that might be something to do with it, with um, who was keeping score. What? So, <laughs> Casting the star shots. There you go. Right. So that's the uh, second uh, second mini golf of the of the holiday. And uh, it's a bit windy, so we're going to uh, uh, head on uh, head on back before it starts raining again, I suppose. Saturday morning sees us back on the bus heading up to Tallinn for the uh, third stage of the holiday. <laughs> 